everybody, it's your boy Mo Money Incorporated. And today we're gonna cover various topics. We're gonna cover proper packaging of coins. We're gonna talk about most recent eBay purchases. And we're even gonna do a few shout outs. So to begin with, you know, if you're like me, you love receiving coins in the mail. But what's the most frustrating thing? is when you're expecting something and it doesn't arrive. You're like, where's my coin? What happened to it? Did the guy send it, right? Sometimes you might even think that your coin was stolen. Recently, I had two pieces of mail. One of them had the side slit open and the other one came with this recare message from the post office, basically showing me that oops basically showing me that's what my envelope looked like when they got it it was basically destroyed and it was empty so you know it was very frustrating getting those two things now mind you i do appreciate the people who sent me those because one was a one was a youtuber rather who just sent me a free coin i didn't win anything he just sent me a free coin and this person tends to send out a lot of coins. So I can, you know, relate to postal expenses and trying to keep, you know, those expenses down. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. He was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you didn't get it. Don't worry about it, dude. I'll make it up to you. So that was cool. The other one was a GAW win. And, uh, you know, it's cool to win, but it's also cool to receive your coins. So... Let's look at a couple other packages that might have been packaged a little bit differently and perhaps even a little better. Uh, this package was in one of my recent mail calls. Well, my only mail call for that matter. And I don't know if you can tell, but the person used tape to reinforce their padded envelope. So whenever you're sending coins in the mail, it's probably a pretty good idea to reinforce your envelope or your padded envelope even with some tape. So I received that package and I was very happy with the contents of it. This person, again, this was a GAW win and I appreciate anyone who does those, sent it just in a regular envelope. Don't mind the top here, that was me just cutting it open. Um, did not reinforce it, which, you know, that's up to them. They're kind of rolling the dice if you don't reinforce it with tape. Um, these were the contents of that package and I don't know if you can tell let me see if I can kind of get it in focus for you a little he taped the coins to the paper which I mean the penny and the nickel you know no not big deal they're just you know regular coins but the quarter here is a 1944 silver quarter again it's in circulated condition um, probably not a good idea to tape your coins to paper uh, there's better ways to do that with like coin baggies or coin envelopes that you could put the coins in also if you're sending multiple coins probably not a good idea to let them bang next to each other if they're in you know better condition these are in circulated condition so it wouldn't have mattered but if you had like BU or AU coins you definitely don't want them clanging against each other Okay, next was, um, I don't really remember what this was, to be honest with you. I think it was an eBay purchase, just a regular envelope. You can see he used, you know, an extra stamp here. Um, he did reinforce it with the tape, which is always a good idea, and I received it. So, thank you for that. Next, I want to talk about... I want to talk about an eBay seller. As you see, I have you know, blacked out everyone's address just to keep their address private. I didn't get permission to use anybody, so I'm gonna respect that. And I also blacked out mine. Um, this was a padded envelope. It was reinforced with tape. Very happy with the contents of that. And check this out. The same seller on eBay, okay? And I will tell you who it is. It was uh, 93 Redhead sent me this coin now this person okay is an ex-marine which is pretty cool to begin with so thank you for your service 
Um, he has told me so much about errors and varieties. Unfortunately, my eyes just are not good anymore. And to help me, he's actually sent me pictures on my computer to see if I can, you know, find the errors, which I thought was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I haven't been too successful, so he took it one step further. He sent me this envelope with a coin inside it saying that, hey, if you can't see it in the picture, maybe you can see it in real life. I'll send you the coin for free and you check it out and see if you can find the error. Again, a nice envelope. I'm going to open it up in a minute, but I can already feel that there's cardboard in here. So he reinforced the coin with cardboard backing, which is always a great idea. He has it taped along the side here. And I'm going to go off camera and open this because I don't feel like slicing my finger. I'll be right back. And we're back, YouTubers. And as you can see, I have cut open the envelope. Nothing inside. And look what he does. This is genius. We all get junk mail. So he takes his junk mail, puts it together, okay, and he uses it to... Put, and I create a little pouch and then inside he has his little business card okay thank you you received your coin and have examined it please remember to leave feedback it is very important gave me two of those just in case I want to you know hand it out to somebody else Bob, this is your next test. It's okay to look at a photograph and try to find something wrong, but there's nothing like looking at the genuine item. Your clue is on the reverse within the design. So who does this? I'll tell you who does this. 93 Redhead does this on eBay. So if you're into checking out errors and varieties, this is the way to go. Okay, that's the backside of his cardboard that he did. And then look at this, look at this, the protection, the protection layer for this coin. And note the coin baggie. You can buy these coin baggies on eBay. I'm just gonna leave it on the cardboard for now. You can buy these baggies on eBay for like a couple pennies a bag. So a great way to send your coins and make sure that your customers are gonna get them. No need to do delivery confirmation when you package things like this. You are going to get your coins. Okay. So thank you, 93 Redhead. I will be contacting you later to see if I can find that error. All right. Next on the list. You can use envelopes or you can use big envelopes, right? So that's cool. Padded envelope from Amazon Prime. That's pretty cool. I received this package. I Obviously, I received this package. What did I receive though? Well, I received this cool nickel laminate. Now, I want to tell you something about this purchase, okay? I saw coin mats advertised on eBay for $25. And I saw this one advertised for like $16 and change. And I wasn't trying to be cheap. What I was trying to do was save money so that I could use that money to invest into some more silver, right? That makes sense. We all want to get as much silver as we can. Pretty nice, pretty nice, right? Tells you all the, you know, key dates and everything, the repunch mint marks. Not bad, not bad. However, it is a laminate. And if you can see right here, let's see, right here, you will see that it's already like wrinkling up. Not only that, but I, I bought this like July 14th, I think it was, and I didn't receive it until like almost August 3rd. So I was kind of annoyed at that. However, I contacted the seller and he said, you know what? He said, I'm going to send you another one for free. But not only that, he sent me one for pennies too. So I thought that was extremely cool. Sorry about the shaky tripod there. But, um, you know, 
absolutely free, no charge. So that was really cool. Okay, but obviously I wasn't too happy with the laminate, the way it wrinkled, the fact that it was a laminate and not a true like uh, mouse pad type material. So you can't go wrong with Rob Fine's treasure. So I invested in one of his coin mats. Couldn't be happier. It's exactly what I wanted. And the way Rob packages his coin mats is in these tubes here. And let me just show you what that side looked like. And then obviously I slid it out of that side. Okay. I was a little nervous when I saw it like this because I thought maybe moisture might be able to get in there. But, you know, Rob knows what he's doing because if you look at his eBay sold items, he sells like, you know, 20 of these a month at least. So I thank you, Rob, for making a quality product. Next, I will be showing you some of my recent finds. Next, I want to talk about something that I received from Treasure Hunting with the Godfather. It was a GAW win. And uh, let me just uh, go off camera a minute and I'll open this and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, YouTubers, we're back. And inside the envelope was Treasure Hunting with the Godfather's Magnet. So that's pretty cool. I can add that to my refrigerator and take care of important papers. So I thank him for that. And check out this blue pouch. Blue pouch is pretty cool. What's inside? What's inside? Oh, here we go. Oh, check it out. The sticker. This is my first sticker. So I know everyone's into uh, trading stickers and collecting stickers. So that is Treasure Hunting with the Godfather sticker. So I thank him for that as well. And this was what was inside. Check her out. Yes, yes, yes. A sexy lady. I love it. This is my very first copper round. I am sure it's not gonna be my last or my last silver round for that matter. I'm really starting to research rounds and trying to get into that, trying to diversify my collection a little bit. So Treasure Hunting with the Godfather, I thank you. I will be sending you an email to make sure that you know I received this awesome prize. Thank you for doing the GAW. And I will be sure to be following your channels and be in the August running as well. Thank you and be well. Next, I want to show you something I received at my bank the other day, which was pretty cool. So, unfortunately, I am on unemployment due to COVID-19, which isn't too cool. But school will be starting up soon, so I'll be teaching again come September, whether it be from home or from school, yet to be determined. But I cashed out my debit card for unemployment, and I received a few hundred dollar bills, and I received this beauty. 08009068 star. A star note on a hundred dollar bill. Pretty sweet. Next, I want to share with you an idea that maybe will help you guys get more coins at the bank. As you know, uh, I've been telling some people that I you know, correspond with that in New Jersey, the banks are really tight on giving coins. Forget about boxes. You're not getting any coin boxes. You may not even get coin rolls, not even from the bank that you do business with. So I've been going to banks, you know, all kinds of banks, TD Bank, Chase Bank, Provident Bank, all kinds of banks trying to get coins. And a lot of them have said no. So I came up with an idea. I came up with an idea. Some of the banks that have been nice enough to give me rolls of coins, I appreciate them very much. I started rolling up my coins that I weren't going to use, that I was going to just put through Coinstar or put through one of the you know coin sorting machines at the bank. I started rolling them up and giving them back to them. Not the same bank, mind you. I would never do that. The banks that you get your coins from, you never want to dump at. That would be a huge mistake. I went to some of the banks that said no to me. 
and I said, hey, I know there's a coin shortage and I have these rolled up coins. Are you interested in getting them? Of course, they said yes. And guess what? A week to two weeks later, I went back to some of those banks and I asked for rolled up coins and they said yes. They remembered who I was because I did them a favor. I don't know if you are aware, but bank tellers are required to roll up coins before their shift is over. So by doing something as easy as rolling up coins, you know, you're watching the ball game and it's a commercial, roll up, you know, 50 pennies, big deal. By doing something that simple, you increase your chance of getting customer rolled coins or bank rolled coins from the banks that you're trying to get coins from. So, you know, if they still say no, say, you know, okay, thanks, I understand, but keep going because sometimes you get a different teller and a different teller has a different attitude. I thank you for tuning in to today's video. Oh, wait, wait, there's important shout outs that I need to do. I want to do shout outs. Yes, I wrote it down on paper so I would not forget. Liberty Coins, that's the first person I want to talk about. Liberty Coins is a channel on YouTube who did a shout out for me. Now, I'm not doing a goal yet. I will be doing one soon. He just wanted to help out a small channel like me. What do I have, like 125 subscribers? So he's like, you know what? This guy needs some help. <laughs> he really needs some help if you look at these videos. There's so many different ways that I could improve. Please leave those ideas in the comments. I take no offense, I'm a big boy. I can take your criticism. I wanna make better videos. Liberty Coins, I thank you for all the positive you know, words of encouragement that you've given me. To be honest with you, I love showing you my finds. I don't like making YouTube videos. I'm not good at it. I'm not good on computers. I'm obviously not good with phones. I have shaky hands, etc., etc. Liberty Coins said, you know what? Just be you, do your thing, and people will tune in and they wanna see what you're finding. So thank you, Liberty Coins, for those words of encouragement. TJ Hunt Stuff is the next channel I want to talk about. This guy and I, we, we talk every day and, you know, we support each other and TJ is doing amazing things. He's approaching, I believe, 300 subscribers. He might have might have gone over. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but he's in that ballpark. He does all kinds of cool things. He does wheat pennies that he picks up at his local coin store. He searches through them. Nickels. He's getting into live streaming now, live stream, but you know what? He doesn't want to copy off everyone. He has his own ideas about live streaming. He's going to be doing Lincoln pennies. It's going to be amazing. He's even getting into merchandise. So you really need to go over to TJ's channel and check him out, see what he's all about. And last but not least, I need to thank 93 Redhead one more time on eBay. If you're into errors and varieties, this is the person that you want to buy from on eBay. His coins are amazing. His customer service even better. The way he's trying to help out a newbie like me is unheard of in today's world. I want to thank all of you for tuning into today's video. Uh, you know, I would appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done that. And you know what? Be kind to each other. Take care of the little guy and you will feel better about yourself. This is Mo Money telling you if you're just sitting around the house not doing anything, you need to make yourself some Mo Money.